fat is more than just one of the longest running gags in comedy. It's also been a viral meme, a mantra, and part of YMH lore. But a few months ago, Burt Kreischer hit what he described as his new rock bottom after a shirtless picture of him throwing out the first pitch at a Cleveland Guardians game went viral because of the insane look of his 275 pound stomach, serving as an immediate wake up call for Burt and his new source of inspiration. Your stomach does look crazy right there. It, it looks doesn't crazy. look real. It doesn't. And you look so happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know what's, I don't know there's sharks underneath me. I'm, I'm, I'm the one guy going, yeah. in the ocean, great. Yeah. Isla saw it. She goes, oh, buddy. I go, what? She goes, you're not going to like the way you look. Baby Walrus is happy, but Baby Walrus is all over the place. And it's fucking the most embarrassing. How long ago was this? Fucking, I don't know. Who knows? I, I mean, a year? No, no, no. Go no. oh, fucking recent. Oh, okay. We've all seen Burt ride the weight loss roller coaster before. Starting in 2017, with the time he got down to 220 pounds during the Who is Fat competition, which took place on the Joe Rogan experience, a battle that Burt ended up losing to Tom Segura. Is that because of a weight? Is that just like a fat? It's an interesting build, isn't it? Is that because he lost, again, for those of you in the in the chat who know more about body fitness shit why does Bert look like that when he lost all that weight is that because he just lost water weight 17 with the time he got down to 200 he's or just his, or his body proportion he's got really skinny legs for his build in it but he's also got love handles and a big of a belly still wow he's got a really odd build he's got really skinny lacking in muscle legs but a really big upper body like his arms look quite big too don't you think his arms, upper body are way bigger and more defined than his actual legs. Hmm. 120 pounds during the Who is Fat competition, which took place on the Joe Rogan experience, a battle that Burt ended up losing to Tom Sig Like Tom looks a little bit more proportionate, do you know? Like in terms of his overall body thing, although he's got a little bit of that knock. Tom's got, Tom, yeah, Tom definitely has got knock knees, doesn't it? He's got a little bit of that knock kneeness going on there, right? He's got that Zion, he's got the Zion Williams of knees. Um, or Zion Williamson, whatever his name is, Zion Williamson, Zion Williams, whatever his fucking name is. But yeah, Burt's got an interesting build, like. Gora, resulting in a punishment shaving of his beard. It looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> is this the, the last time Burt, the last time that fucking, what's the thing called? This was Super October was funny. When I used to actually took, take part in it. Sober Toba was actually a fun time. Um, Joe Rogan was a fun time. <laughs> Joe Rogan was a fun time. Oh. First time you shaved another man? Oh. Yeah. Oh. But I've thought about it a lot. Oh. <laughs> Coiler, knees buckling under that ego. <laughs> Holding up the ego is fucking funny. <laughs> The next chapter in Burt's public fight against obesity was the now famous Sober October tradition, an annual ritual that was originally created to keep Burt on the straight and narrow. Can I discuss your belly real quick? Please. So it's always Tom and I have talked about this. You look like a trans man that's having quintuplets. <laughs> But in 2023, things were different. There was no group challenge this year. And without Tom and Joe egging him on, Burt embarked on this journey solo, losing an impressive 45 pounds since his first pitch reality check back in August. And despite being known for talking big game in the weight loss department for years now, Burt's latest venture looks to be more than a temporary fix. Instead of a monthly challenge, Burt's new aim is to shift parts of his lifestyle permanently. For example, he's already committed to a keto carnivore diet and says he he feels great. The machine has also been taking longer breaks from alcohol and has begun to smoke more weed to help lay off the booze. Right now my energy levels through the fucking roof. And and I and I'm telling you, zero booze, zero sugar, pretty much steak and fish, and a couple hot dogs every now and then. No buns. Hold on. Joke what I like you, but is this paid promotion? Joke what I love you? But is this paid promotion? Is Joke what running propaganda for these comedians now? Is Joe Cole getting paid as part of the rollout? Is this part of the new rollout for comedians? They pay Joe Cole to make videos about their fucking weight. What the fuck is going on here? Nah, this is a new low. This is a new low for stand-up comedy. This is true. Is Joe Cole involved in this ro ro rollout? Did Burt tell him to make this video in the hopes that Burt sticks to the diet and then when he transforms himself and gets a six-pack at the end, 
he'll do another video. Yeah. Comedy podcasting is over, man. It's done, isn't it? I'm such a fucking dummy. Exactly. I'm too, not even trusting. I'm naive. I'm a, not even trusting. That gives me the credit. I'm a dumb, I'm a stupid, naive black cunt. That's what I am. Black, stupid, naive cunt. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Joe Quill's running propaganda for these comedians. I will tell you, dinner parties are tedious. In keto and not drinking. Man, it's like they don't stop pouring wine for themselves. You're just sitting there going, for real? We're going to do another Now, NJ, Ray, NJ, I heard what you said. You called me a black, naive piece of shit. I heard what you said. My ancestors are shaking right now. They heard what you said also. <laughs> One. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Open another bottle of wine. It's 1030. It's cool. No, no, no. I didn't want to read a book about Johnny Carson when I got home. I'm going to be tired as fucking shit. What's that? I'm sorry. The kids are here. I can't go outside and smoke pot. Oh, cool. No, this is great. Talk to me more about how suicide's an option. Incorporating keto, installing a smoothie. Oh, my God, man. Joe Quill's actually running propaganda for Burt Kreischer. He's getting paid for this rollout. It's like a, is this like a new, is this like the new, my mind's kind of blown. I'm not going to, like, my mind is kind of blown. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. Bar on tour, cutting down on the booze and hitting the gym daily has transformed Bird's entire existence, not just in BMI, but also in general quality of life. I drove down my street today and I saw the trees like I've never seen them. Now, I don't know if that's the... They saw all the views that Joe has been getting. They saw the content is largely positive. Because I said before, when, when I was making this sort of stuff myself, I said that as much as it's funny to have me and Red Bar, these type of guys that exist, you probably need to have the opposite. You probably need to have a platform that just sucks you off and that pr praises you because there's a lot of there's lots of stuff about them, right? But I never thought it'd go this direction. I didn't think it'd go this far. It's one thing to talk glowingly about the podcast and talk about all the funny moments and stuff. But when you turn into a propaganda arm of the po of the podcast, that's when it gets a bit crazy. You can talk glowingly about them, but letting them use your platform to, what, talk about how, like, and also, why is this an achievement? Why is this something that we should be, like, celebrating for? A degenerate alcoholic is now deciding at the age of 50 plus to get his life in order. Why should that be, like... That's not something to be like celebrated or lauded, anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know, that's not a big achievement. This guy that has all the means in the world, all the time in the world to, and all the doctors, and all the access to medical procedures and shit, is getting his life in check in his mid 50s. We should be fucking, what, celebrating and clapping about that fat going to my brain or the fat leaving my body or the fact that i have no booze to cloud it but i feel phenomenal from chris to stefano aka chrissy intermittent fasting to theo von working out with nfl players this is all part of a current health trend hitting comedy one of the most famous examples being bert's best friend tom segura who lost a ton of weight after his gruesome basketball injury and has managed to <laughs> that would never not make me laugh friend tom segura who lost a ton of weight after his gruesome basketball injury and has managed to successfully maintain his new image thanks in part to moderation exercise and every comic's new best friend testosterone so you do it in your ass yeah how do you do it in your ass i'll show you here let me, let's, not, let's not try to everyone touch you gotta wash your hands to do your gear i think no you don't for real give me this okay okay so number one you go like this Alcohol swab there. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me let me do the drawing. I like enjoying my gear. You're just these mid. Honestly, man. Like us regular people have to fucking make do with white rice and chicken and broccoli and shit. Waking up at five a.m. to go for runs, getting in workouts between our kids sleeping, doing push-ups in fucking hallways, working out in shitty gyms with mislabeled dumbbells and shit or with no labels you know these guys get to fucking have trainers that they fly around the world with them testosterone ozempic and everything else, everything else it's like okay 
gonna, you told me I could do it. No, I'm going to fill it up. You're going to, I don't, I'm afraid you'll overfill my gear. Where do you shoot it in your ass? In the butt cheek, just right in your cheek. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You don't want to do it like that. That's how I do it. No, take the air out first. That's how you want to do it. Take, they're, they're doing they're doing it on the pot. Okay, cool, good. Take it all the way down to 30. It's fine. Let's take, it to 30. take it to 30. Okay. And put it in. Someone in the, shot gear before. And now pull back. It's the same. No, it's probably flowing better. It's flowing a little bit better. So how much do you shoot? 20. Oh, shit. Does that mean I'm manlier? I think it means you need more. My testosterone is really fucking low. Really? Yeah, but there's so many bubbles in my gear now. No, you're fine. You can put a little bubble in your body, right? A little bit's fine. Yeah, take it down to 28. Who's going to know? I do that all the time. I know you do. Take it up, back up to 25. Just, yeah, you're good. Don't do too crazy. 25. And then Riveting content, right, by the way, right? Riveting podcasting content. Hearing these middle-aged men do TRT live on air. Riveting. And pull that needle right out. Boom. There you go. All right. Okay. Now, I'll show you. Hang on. Now, with this, you got this is very important. What? You're fine. A little. little. Don't put any more. Juice. Okay. So. All right. Here, you hold my gear. And then, where do you do it? So, like, right. I go right here. Okay. Hang on. So, you saw where I wiped? Yeah, I did. Okay, ready? Yep. Boom. How did you do that so quick? You just popped it in and did it, man. Wow. I saw him last week. He got so fat. He looked Chinese. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not liking. I'm not liking. I'm not liking this direction of it's going, man. Hopefully, this is just Joke World making his own video and it's not paid promotion. But it feels like a little bit of a paid promotion, propaganda type thing, man. I hope it's not the case because I like Joke World. I'm not gonna. Lie. I like his channel. I like the content. It's refreshing to have a a place where you can go and just you know watch funny clips with no agendas, um, with no bias with no uh, hating, right? Just pure like celebration of these comics. But I'm hoping this ain't propaganda. I really hope not. Because if it is, sad place we're at, man. This is fucking sad place where we're at. It's a sad place. It really is a sad place. I hope it's not. Yeah, Zaki Paola, Zaki NJ. I hope it's not Paola. I really hope it's not. Because if it is, damn, man. <laughs> AZ, Jake, Jake Paul's walking out. You're not going to get me. You're not going to catch me. No, what's that Jamaican mean? The Jamaican guy mean? No, never happening. Did I see, no, I didn't see the Delia interview. No, I didn't watch that. I saw him do the interview Delia. I don't, again, as much as that guy is a proper pedo, I don't really have a problem with people interviewing him. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? Get your interview off. He needs to continue doing his life, whatever. He, ain't, he, he didn't get convicted. Let him live his life. So I don't, I don't, even, I don't really have an issue with him interviewing him because I saw some people criticizing and say the interview was too soft and he didn't hurt him in any hard questions but it's nothing 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 problem no problem with that no problem no problem with that i, I don't mind do i want to listen to chris Lea talk no do i ever no. yeah yeah um what can you do let, let let him do his thing i mean um if you guys like if you like having if you listen to pedos that's you um do i not really Actually, I can't say that, do I? Because I like a lot of fashion people, and there's a lot of fashion people who are pedos. Yeah, so I can't really talk about. I can't really. I can't really um, do any moral, you know, or you can't really morally grandstand when there's a lot of people in fashion who are legit pedos who I turn a blind eye to, you know. I like I do this <laughs> because they make cool hoodies. I kind of, you know, I do that. So I can't really talk. So it is what it is.